Okay, I'm just gonna show you now how to change your baby Bjorn one carrier from newborn setting onto a slightly bigger baby and toddler onwards. Um, you will know when you need to do it because first of all, when you put your baby in the carrier, you'll find that they're, they're much too high and that the body is not coming up to their neck and providing them enough support or they might be sort of in your face. The other thing that you might notice is that when you look at them, you might see that their legs are Instead of having their knees tucked up in a nice squat position, their legs will be hanging a little bit straighter. So those are both good signs that you need to take the baby out of the newborn setting and change your carrier to toddler setting. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is unzip that panel from the newborn position. And further down the carrier, you'll see there's another zip. Okay. So we now need to zip those two zips together. Right. It's easier to do it when it's not already on. Okay, so that's now zipped onto that lower zip there. Okay, and the other thing that you're going to need to do, which often people forget, I see a lot of people walking around with these bits still unzipped. Um, if your baby is in this carrier, they're not newborn but they're facing you, you must zip up these zips here because that's what's going to create that nice squat knee position that's going to be better for the baby's hips and more comfortable for you. So we zip those two up. Okay, now again you can either put your baby in with the carrier hanging down like this and bring it up or you can start with it halfway. I'm going to start with it halfway up because that's quite a popular way of doing it. So we've got one buckle already clipped on. Okay. Here's my slightly bigger baby. I'm going to bring them down one leg through that hole. Okay. And then they're straddling the width of that carrier. We're going to bring this buckle over, slide it onto that clip and buckle it on. Okay, you might find that if the baby's very high, that at this stage you can actually position this waistband a little bit lower, but it all depends where your baby sits, as long as you can reach their head to kiss them easily. Okay, and then this part now, if I leave it folded down, if my baby's about six months old or more, I could probably get away with leaving that folded down um, and having that clipped up like that. If you're finding that they're still a bit floppy um, but it, and it's not reaching high up enough, you could now have that part folded upwards. Just depends on the height and the age of your baby. But if they're six months or older and they've got full body control, you can leave that down. If they need a bit more support, keep that clipped up. on to that section and then that one onto there like so. So we can see baby's face really easily. In this case this baby's quite big so I probably can fold that down and they're still getting plenty of support across the back. Um, if you're finding baby's too loose then, and hurting your back then just make sure that you've tightened up the body panel so it's nice and supportive across your back. And there you have it. That's the Baby Bjorn one with a, a bigger baby.